Hey, what's going on, ladies and gents? Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Here, I wanted to talk about Yoimiya. As you guys have seen in the past, my Yoimiya was nowhere compared to what you see Yoimiya now. Obviously, she is currently 80 out of 90. That has not changed, but her stats have changed dramatically now before i get into the stats i wanted to let you guys know that a lot of you guys are not subscribed to the channel currently and if you do subscribe that would be greatly appreciated i would love that so much leave a like on this video as well if this video gets to at least 15 likes i'm going to crown my yoi mia and then make another video on her yoi mia is one of the strongest single target dps characters in the game and i truly believe that not only that but she is super easy to build now my yoimiya has a hamayumi bow obviously even though she does go with the shimanawa set the hamayumi bow is sort of counterintuitive in terms of what you want to accomplish because of the shimanawa set just read the passive here you increase your normal attack damage by 16% and charge attack damage by 12%. Obviously, you're not going to use the charge attacks on Yoimiya, but if you do decide to, for some reason, you have this, okay? You definitely have. If your character has 100% energy during this, it's going to increase the effect by 100%, meaning that you're going to increase your normal attack by 32% and charge by 24 Now, this is really strong and powerful and good stuff, However, Yoimiya won't make the best out of it because her best in slot artifact set is currently the Shimanao's Reminiscence. The reason why this is one of her best sets currently is because it gives attack percentage as well as the 4 piece set gives you the whole increased damage by 50% for normal charge plunging attacks for 10 seconds. It's super 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 good for Yoimiya and it's pretty much a must use at this point. Now at Constellations, she's at C0 and honestly, she doesn't need to be any higher. She's at 997 and seven being her ultimate, being the least effective part of her kit. The most important part is actually the normal attack as well as her elemental skill. I would say the normal attack is a little bit more important than the elemental skill, even though they both sort of go hand in hand together. Elemental skill, it's going to boost up your normal attack by 158.8 percent of your normal attack damage now her actual attack is big as you guys can see her multipliers are quite large and this is what makes her the character that she is obviously you're not going to do charge attacks because that sucks the thing is with yoimiya her pyro damage bonus gets increased by two percent on each hit and it goes for a maximum of 20 percent you use the you know your ultimate your party members gain a 10% not including Yoimiya. So if you want to rotate out of Yoimiya and you do have her ultimate, I would suggest you do so so you can get the you know, additional 10% increase of attack. Now that we've talked about that, now we went through that, I can show you guys my stats for Yoimiya. Boom. 64.3% with 187.6% on the crit damage. Obviously, it is not quite, you know, one to two ratio. This is a free to play account. I wanted you guys to know that. And I just think that it's a pretty big thing, okay? First things first, the feather. The feather has so much crit rate, it has 12.8% crit rate, as well as 12.4% crit damage. This is not bad. This is pretty good. This is insanely good, actually. But the crit damage did roll a little bit too little. For this, this is insane okay it rolled crit rate almost the entire time and rolled once into defense pretty good sands here obviously we could have been you know attack percentage as well maybe even uh, energy recharge something like that but nonetheless pretty good is a wonderful piece of equipment although it rolled twice into defense the crit damage rolls did not disappoint, especially because it is on step. Now, the crown here, or, you know, the circlet, whatever you want to call it, it could have been better as it rolled twice, in one time into energy recharge and one time into elemental mastery, and it didn't roll into crit rate, which is fine, totally okay. Could have been an insane 18 crit rate roll piece, but you know what? It's fine. Needed some energy recharge on her, needed some of the mastery on her. It will work just as well. Pretty good stuff. Flower is insane. Her flower is insane. I have just rolled this flower. This is absolutely insane. 
35.7% into critical damage. I did not miss one roll. The only quote unquote miss is I got the defense, you know, flat defense uh, in the initial roll because it was a three liner. It wasn't a four liner. It hit all into crit damage after that. Now we're going to do a little bit of a test. Okay, we're going in with Yoimiya, Kazaha, Jingcho, as well as Bennett. And we're going into the Spiral Abyss to show you guys the absolute strength that Yoimiya brings to this. Alright, here we go with Yoimiya. We're going to do absolutely everything in our power here to just slap. And here we go. Do a little bit of that. <laughs> Shinkyo pops up there. And here we have it. Yoimiya pops the heck off. Boom, look at all that damage. We did not swirl the pyro, which is a little bit unfortunate. But Shinkyo does manage to pop off in, you know, because of it. So here we go. We do a little bit of that. And with this. Boom. We bulk in the bulk in a little bit there. Oh, popping off. 49k with that hit. Absolutely massive. But yeah. I am messing up my rotations just a little bit because Xing Ch Xing Cho just absolutely takes over the, you know, the melt or the pyro damage. And it's not doing what we want it to do. Which is a little bit unfortunate. But here we go. Nonetheless, do some beautiful, beautiful damage with Yoi Mia. As you guys can see, he just slaps. It does not matter. He definitely slaps all the time. He just makes a wonderful combo for Shinkcho, for Yoi Mia, for Kazaha, just together. <laughs> uh, but yes. She, she slaps. She does so much damage. It's insane. Oh yeah. Here we go. We can ultimate for the funds. Alright, here we go. We have the big boy frog looking dragon. Alright. Let's get in here. Alright, we get it. The first ult. Okay. And now we get the second one. And third one. Dodge. Now we have the most important ults on us. Dodge again. We didn't. It's fine. Yoimiya, pop off. Boom, dodge that. Boom, dodge that again. And dodge that again. There it is. <laughs> Yoimiya popping the heck off there. Alright, dodge. There we go. And we get this ultimate back. Almost. Almost. Just hit a few more times and then we can use Kazaha. There we go. Let's get that swirl in. We do. Now we get Yoimiya in here to deal the damage. Boom. Dodge. We do. We pop off more. We do just so much damage. We just go. We move. We go. We move. Come on. One more. One more time. Boom. Yoimiya can finish this off herself. Dodge. Let's go. Alright. Boom. Bang. And now we got Shinkcho's ultimate. Perfect. Dodge that. Here we are. Alright. Here we got the Ruin Grader as well. Taking insta damage from me on you, which is what we want. There we go. Ultimate. And boom. And we pop off. Alright, let's not get hit by that. Dodge that. Ultimate up. I still don't have your Mia's. Alright, there we go. One more time. Boom. Popping off. There we go. Yeah, guys. That was pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you did, consider like to subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you guys so much for all your support on my channel and on my videos.
you guys in the next video very soon. Consider like to be subscribed to the channel if you did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video.